right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and a busy year so far. A lot of suppliers, a lot of new wines like this Flanagan Chardonnay. Flanagan. I guess that's the family name. If you can't get more creative than that when you're naming a wine. I mean, it's a good name for like a bar um, for wine, a high end wine. I didn't get the packaging in this product at all. Really ugly labels. I mean, everybody's got an opinion. You know what? I mean, for me, if it was my wine, first of all, I wouldn't call it Lampassoni Vineyards, okay? Um, people mispronounce my name all the time, so my name wouldn't be a good one for a wine because you want people to be able to pronounce it and say it, okay? I mean, Lampassoni has got a nice ring, but not for wine. All right, anyways, this is a Russian River Chardonnay, mostly Wente clone, full mallow, all estate juice. Philippe Melka was their... Cabernet consultant when this wine got started. They make three different Chardonnays. Uh, this vintage only produced 500 cases of this one. So, hey, you don't need a good name or a package to sell 500 cases. You need good wine. And these guys bought Platt Vineyard. So um, they understand what it takes to make good wine, good grapes. This wine is a really beautiful on the nose, ripe tropical, tropical fruit, toasty oak spice. Good complexity here. Nice amount of that richness on the palate as well. A nice creamy texture, that toasty oak spice showing through on the finish with ample fruit to match. A nice hand of acidity keeping things fresh. A nice long finish. Excellent juice at $54. And then the Cabernet, Bennett Valley. Um, well, the vineyard's just north of Matanzas Creek in Bennett Valley. This is the last vintage of this designation. Um, so I don't know why I'm talking about it. Uh, mostly cab 95%, 5% Merlot. This wine goes through a long fermentation. There's only 610 cases of this vintage produced and a uh, whopping 15.3% alcohol. It's got a little VA on the nose, a little funk there. and Got some nice fruit, though. Dark currant and cherry liqueur-like notes. Uh, dark earth espresso. A bit of dry tannin at the end, but uh, a lot of fruit. This wine needs a little bit of time. Excellent juice. Maybe a little expensive for Bennett Valley Cabernet, though, at $101. These guys are not shy on the pricing of these wines. That's what we had to drink with our friends from Flanagan uh, Cellars. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.